Man, what's up, YouTube? Stuntastic 210. Back at you with another another episode of Kicks on the Couch. And in today's episode, I'll be going over the Opulence KD7 from Nike ID. Getting into the inspiration behind the shoe actually came from two films growing up. Coming to America, which was immensely popular back in the day. Uh, and if you grew up in the 90s, you also know Buster Rhymes actually had, he took uh, moments from that film and incorporate it into his video, which was spectacular at the time. And of course, uh, Shaka Zulu, another heavily themed animal print film, uh, because he was a warrior out in the African plains, uh, they took what they had from the animals and used it. Uh, of course, they had loincloths. And the women just walked around with titties flapping everywhere. Uh, I was 12, 13 at the time, so I didn't know what to expect. The movie came on regular ass TV. And back in the day, you know, there was no digital antennas. So you basically had the UHF and the VHF. So this was like huge, like you normally see that on the Spice Channel, the blurry Spice Channel for the people that couldn't afford it, the poverty porn. And to see it on regular TV, and then your parents want to watch the movie too, so they there with you, and you don't know what to do. So I'm like covering up like this, but I'm still looking at the titties though. It's crazy. But that's kind of where I got the inspiration from, not flapping titties, but because of the animal, the animal skins and cloth that were worn throughout the films, uh, more so Shaka Zulu than coming to America. Uh, and getting into the shoe, I actually opted for the zebra print and they had a different choices. They had zebra, snake, leopard and cheetah. I opted for the zebra print, which turned out to really blend well with what I wanted to do. I wanted to just do a simple black and white color scheme. And I thought this would just set it off. And I didn't want to do zebra print over the entire shoe, even though it's called opulence. And that means like great wealth. I, you know, just in abundance. And I didn't want to do that, so I just left it pretty much just on the toe box. And normally where there's hyperposit on the rear of the shoe, I chose leather. Uh, also with the leather strap. And then you got the Suicide wrist, wrist Red liner. And actually the liner is perforated leather, so your feet won't be smelling like a funk box. Which is really good because Nike, they beefed up the options with this KD7. And finally, of course, I wanted to do something to the extreme. And I did opt for the glow in the dark outsole, which is a really nice touch. And I'll have HD picks up on my Twitter and Instagram so you can see for yourself. Uh, huge thanks to Texas Kicks for helping me out on that photo shoot. And you may want to get your orders in because the KD8 will be coming out within the next month or so. They've already shown pictures. It looks like a an Air Max for basketball. It's hard to really tell if I'm going to really like the KD8. Normally, I just wait to see what KD, uh, what Nike ID options will be available, but right now I'm not really feeling the KD8 at the moment. And something similar to what the KD7 was, I just had to see what options they would have available. This actually happened to, to come out at the right time. And make sure you get it in as soon as possible. This is by far one of the best IDs that they have on there at the moment. Now they do have the LeBron 12 Elite, which is extremely amazing. I've seen some scroll across my timeline and I am just shocked at 
how well that shoe looks price wise not so much but the aesthetics of the shoe look phenomenal and I'm really tempted to, to get it but then again I see that price and then I get I get it right back in place so I appreciate that you're saving me some money at the moment but again the KD7 check it out for yourself I'll have HD picks up on my Twitter and Instagram again make sure you check it out it's Stuntastic210 thank you guys for checking out the vids and as always I'll see you guys later peace